Hello good people of the interweb and welcome to a DCUO PVE tier 4 strength of the RAM colour matching video. Yeah, try saying that fast. <laughs> um, this one's gonna of course cover the tier 4 gear. Um, unlike the tier 3's and well, every other piece of gear that's available, this is universal to heroes and villains. Um, like the PvP tier 2 and 4 gears are and to some extent also the PvE tier 3 gears are but there's some cosmetic differences between the tier 3 and 4 uh, sorry between the villain and heroes mainly because the heroes have all got those Superman emblems on but you guys already know that of course you do if you've watched my videos, you do anyway. <laughs> anyway, um, of course, this one's going to cover the strength of the RAM. Uh, reason, sorry, uh, reasons why I went for this set over the others. Um, no real reason, really. Uh, I went for this uh, this set not because I prefer it uh, to the others. I, in fact, I feel. Uh, quite strongly that the spirit of the stag is superior to this in every way shape or form aside from on the shoulders because the shoulders of the stag set suck they are bleeding awful um, but the head of the stag is perhaps one of the best in the game but this set, uh, this headset uh, will allow you to wear any face mask unlike the the other sets I think the other sets actually cut them out and this set will also allow you to successfully wear the Owen tech mask without it clipping unlike the tier 3 tank set which I think I mentioned actually clipped into the uh, the tech mask clipped out of the headpiece weird it's one of those weird things that, that you don't notice until you actually see it, but uh, this gear also severely clips into into itself, uh, so be careful which pose you take. I, I, I know I keep on saying this, but if you're a fan of your gears and you want your gears to look the best, pick the pa powerful stance, not the serious one, because the serious one, the one with the the open hand and the clasp hand, everyone goes for this pose because, well, it's boss. Why would you not? Only problem is when you, yeah, that's that's the way the pose looks. The only problem is uh, with this pose is that you lean slightly forward so the back of your head pokes forward out of your gear, and it pokes into your chest. Yeah, that sounded naughty. <laughs> Anyway, uh, the gear set is available for 400 marks of war, which, uh, unless you are busting out a whole bunch of gates rates, is going to take you a while to earn. Uh, you can get now, as of the tier 4 alerts, which for the villain side, why would you ever want to run the tier 4 alert? It's an awful, awful alert. Um, the tier 4 um, roof instance for the here, uh, villains around Centennial Park quite frankly is as bad if not worse than the Swamp Thing uh, area but we have recently had news that they're going to be transferring the bosses of the tier 4's into instance can I get a hallelujah? <laughs> so, no longer will you be ganked by heroes around Robinson Park. No wonder will you, uh, no longer will you have uh, to worry about all of the ads around Swamp Thing. That, so, um, I don't know what they're going to do about that feat. Uh, uh, don't pollute the water, but hopefully they do something to mitigate it because it, it is a pain. I'm not gonna lie, I hate, hate with a passion ops too for villains. It's awful. Anyway, on with the gear colours. Um, I'm gonna stick with the same precedence that I have before. These will go on the description. Uh, hex code is DB 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 for palette one. Still think that they should have done the hex a helix. 
uh, symbol for the palettes because the I hate that T at uh, the T. I absolutely hate that. Looks awful. Uh, anyway, palette two, uh, one one zero one one zero seven zero three, and palette three, which ironically is exactly the same as the palette three from the Heart of the Lion set. It's interchangeable between the two. Uh, 3EF8AF 3EF8AF I, uh, I only noticed that when I switched um, styles when I actually bought this um, uh, set and I felt that I wanted to run uh, as a DPS strangely I, I could to did a total respec and run as a DPS um, in Ops 2 and switched to the Heart of the Lion set because I I actually really don't like this DPS, this this Strength of the Ram style, um, and changed all the colours up the gold the um, which is also banana yellow colour, um, slightly blue white colour, and I didn't have to change the turquoise lights. They're exactly the same. Uh, I think so. Yeah, that that's going to be this video done. Um, the next one that I do will probably be one of the... It could either be the tier 3 medic or one of these two. I'm really not sure. Um, or it could be something else entirely. So yeah, I'm, I'm a bit stuck for what to do at the minute because uh, I'm looking at a fairly long grind for everything. Um, I'm working on the tier 4 gears for PvP. Uh, yeah, I know. Um, I'm focused ma mainly on feats rather than the wins outright, but I, I can't afford to keep on resetting everything every week just to get uh, a piece of tier 4 PvP gear, which I will get eventually anyway. Uh, plus, um, one of the reasons why I'm... Oh, Twisted E came up against you in Legends once or twice. Really knows how to use Harley. Um, plus, I'm of the mind that uh, the high tier gears will be reverted down to the catch all mark. So, if you haven't, don't worry. If you haven't completed out the tier 4 gears before they introduce tier 5s, they will bring out. Uh, tier 4s as they are at the minute will drop down to the mark of triumph and the tier 5s will elevate into uh, mark of war I'm almost positive that the PvP gears will do exactly the same thing so the tier 4s if you haven't completed them out will switch to mark of tactics yeah you're going to have to pay a lot of mark of tactics for them but still uh, will switch to mark of tactics and the next set of uh, PvP gear that come out will become strategy. I think that's how it's going to work. One of the things that that was mentioned to me by one of my league mates, which I think is a very good idea, to keep Ring War and Diamond Heist relevant to the entire community, swapping them both over to pay one marker strategy per win. Ring War itself, rather than pay tactics marks. Which, quite frankly, once you've gone through all the PvP gears, you're never going to go back to buying Tier 3s ever again. Unless you accidentally salvage a weapon because you've got a, a tactics weapon that you think might be... Or strategy weapon that you think might be better. And it's the wrong weapon type. And you accidentally salvage your weapon of choice. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to stop pretty much there. I think I've covered everything that I need to cover. So that's going to be this video done and pretty much going to be the close of my videos for this year, more than likely. But I, I've, I'm coming close to a milestone, so when I hit that I am going to upload another video. So when that goes live um, I will be back up, but um, I've just got a couple more um I'm not going to say what, I've got a couple more to go, but uh, but when, when I hit that milestone, even if it's tomorrow morning, um, I will upload another video, um, 
and you'll, you'll see what it's for when it actually goes live so I'm, I'm going to stop there <laughs> and I will catch you on the next video so I uh, hope you have a nice time have a nice Christmas or whatever you're going to do and I'll see you in a bit so catch you in a bit bye